What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about how the internet landscape and media consumption overall is being affected. I think there's a lot of legislations and a lot of things happening right now that are affecting everyone overall. And I just wanna give you guys a bird's eye view of how this is all being affected, what things are gonna happen, and how this affects you as a creator, as a brand, and as a business overall. So let's go over that right now. So following how media is being affected moving forward gives businesses and people like you and I insight as to how this is gonna shape our content moving forward. So it's always good to look at things at a bird's eye view and kind of have a sense of how these larger corporations like AT&T, Verizon, even Facebook, uh, Instagram, and YouTube are all making decisions towards how they're gonna distribute content. This will give us insight as to what their goals are and based on what their goals are, you can then decide uh, how to manipulate your content and how to distribute your content on these platforms so you can get discovered and start growing an audience. So understanding how landscape of media is being affected right now, let's go over kind of the basics of how it always has worked. Pretty much there are three components. There are creators, there are distributors, and there are consumers. For a long time, creators were the studios like MGM, uh, 20th Century Fox, Paramount, that they used to make these films and they used to make these TV shows and then sell that off to distributors like cable companies like uh, AT&T or Comcast or even Verizon to then distribute that content to consumers, people like you and I who would watch this on their TV uh, or watch this on the internet. Media still kind of works in the same way, but since the rise of Netflix and how it's affected the media landscape overall, a lot of these bigger corporations, distributors overall, are starting to consolidate their efforts. If you think about Netflix, Netflix is a distributor and a content creator. They make, they purchase movies and uh, videos and TV shows from other studios, but they also create their own unique content on their platform. And Netflix's business model is something that a lot of these distributors like AT&T, Comcast, Verizon want to model now. So that's why you're gonna see a lot of news coming out where they're acquiring studios and acquiring more and more of these businesses, uh, media creators, to then consolidate those efforts and become more like, like Netflix where they can control what content is being exposed to its consumers. This raises a lot of controversy because now all this information, all this data is being consolidated into this small group of large corporations. And if it gets into those hands, they can control a lot of what is gonna be shown and streamed on their networks. And that's gonna affect and drill down all the way down to the smallest creator uh, in terms of what gets featured where, how much Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or any of these networks get streamed on these bigger platforms, uh, these distributors overall. Uh, again, think about it, AT&T, Comcast, Verizon, they all are the internet service providers and they will, with the drop of net neutrality, decide what gets streamed at what speeds. And that's where the big overall problem in lies with all this consolidation that's been happening with these larger distributors. Now with big changes like this, also comes great opportunity. If you look at it in a business sense, having these larger corporations have access to this much data will give you a much better profile of these consumers that you want to reach. So if you're a business and you want to get in front of people that are interested in sneakers, for example, these companies, these corporations like AT&T will have ad platforms that have a much more robust level of data will let you know what type of TV shows they are watching, what type of content they're consuming on YouTube, are they good reviewers of uh, products overall, do they leave bad reviews, um, how often do they purchase, all that stuff is going to be accessible within these ad platforms which raises the opportunity for businesses to then drive very targeted ad campaigns towards these consumers. So what's the cost of all this data and how does this affect people moving forward? Uh, obviously this is a lot of information that they're going to be capturing of each person and they're going to have a much better profile of you as a consumer because they're going to be able to track everything that you do on the internet and combine that with streaming networks, TV shows, your products and everything that you purchase. So it's a uh, a big controversy because now it's like all this data is being controlled by large corporations and they can effectively decide what is going to be shown in front of you all the time to make you 
perform and buy things that maybe you're not even interested in, but they just know that you're the right profile for that type of content. But it's important that you view these things at a bird's eye view every so often so you can have a sense of what these corporations are thinking. When you can understand what their goals are, then you can understand how you can create your content to fit into these platforms uh, like IGTV, like Facebook, like YouTube. Starting at this level and scaling up, then you can understand what to do with your content and your media to be featured and get discovered and start growing an audience. It just seems like a lot of the changes happening in 2018 has been following a theme and the theme has been control and controlling data, controlling what is being served up on the internet. It, for a long time, the internet has kind of been wild, wild west in terms of information, but it's been free and it's been something accessible for everyone so that they can just share as much information however they want. Um, now moving forward, everything's gonna be a little bit more regulated, a little bit more controlled, so that they fit within these big content networks like AT&T, Verizon, and Comcast, these distributors of content. So it's gonna affect things overall. You'll see it see through all the way, even down to the smallest creator on Instagram or on YouTube. But you need to understand how these things are driving decisions. And if you can follow these trends, then you can make decisions on your content and start growing and building an audience in the best way that you can. So that's pretty much all I got. Uh, there's a lot more information. If you guys want to follow the trend and see how media creation is being uh, consolidated, you can follow the article on Recode. I'll put a link down in the description link below. I also have a blog post that's going to be covering all this content within my website, brianlozano.com slash blog. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you found this video useful, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos just like this. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for watching my YouTube video. If you guys found the video useful, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, make sure you check out my blog at brianlozano.com forward slash blog where you can get more information on the topics I covered in this video plus more. Also, subscribe to my newsletter so you can get all this information sent directly to your inbox the moment I put up brand new content. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.